So this morning I did my first live ever, and that was um, a learning experience. Hey, good morning. Um, earlier I was chasing a spider around. We haven't killed this one. Inventory with me this morning, like right next to me, so that was a little unsettling. Like, look at how many people are not in line. How's everyone doing today? So yesterday we got all these guys beveled and stamped. So we have everything from the Nirvana to the Date Night, Hickory Suede, Rosemary Mint, Spa Day, Lavender, and Cranberry Citrus Peel. Another order came through, so we're gonna get this one packed up, ready to go. I'm gonna start doing the whipped soaps without um, uh, can't hold this and do this at the same time. Unfortunately, like the whip soaps, like when I um, do the piping, I've noticed that they become very dense and they'll like fall. Whereas if I don't do that, they stay nice and fluffy. So I'm gonna do them and then also do it without glitter because not everybody loves glitter. And then unless specified otherwise, because I have them advertised with glitter, I'll pop a little glitter on. But in the shop, I can always add it, you know, if they're here or not as well. So I think that'll be the safest bet moving forward. Um, let's see here. I think that's it. Had a couple gals come in last night. And I did a couple Facebook Marketplace pickups this morning. I'm going to go work my other part-time job for a little bit today. And then swing back in. Um, in theory, I have store hours from 4 to 8. And then, yeah, I don't know. It's, I like having hours because it actually grounds me here and makes me have to, like, get paperwork done. Because I can't really make soap when I'm open for store hours because it's kind of time sensitive. Had an order come in on Saturday while I was at the show. Yesterday I spent the day putting my life back together again. Now we're gonna put an order in. So this morning I did my first live ever, and that was um, a learning experience. We won't call it a fail, but we'll call it a learning experience. Come to find out, um, like, cause I felt like since I was on like YouTube and my phone was going, it wouldn't have mattered. But I guess I thought about it in the aftermath. Um, that like I have it set to time out after five minutes, like if it's not being used or whatever, like it just shuts off and locks. And so I need to not do that during the lives and I have to have it set for never. Um, and when I first started it, I was like portrait and then it wouldn't let me switch the angle. So I think I need to make sure that I start landscape. We'll figure it out. Can I get ready? I have my first like official like outside market tomorrow. So it's kind of the official start to, I mean the last one was like more of like a craft show type thing and I was like inside in theory. So, but now it's like we're outside. So I bummed around a couple of farmers markets over the weekend. I'm gonna, I have a leftover um, empanada. So I'm gonna eat that. And then what else? Um, put the dishes away from the soap session this morning for the live. And I think that's it. That's about it for today, nothing crazy. But I thought I'd check in, been a couple days. And then uh, yeah, I'll have some footage for tomorrow with market. So the uh, Nokomis Baker's market, excited. So I bought one of these guys. So I was like, I would love to have this guy with me at markets. I don't know exactly what that's gonna look like as far as like if I'm inside somewhere and I can bring my Wi-Fi because I have a hotspot, T-Mobile hotspot, but it does also need to be plugged in. <sighs> I feel like on the vendor site that like, so it's like the vendor booth or whatever, like tips and tricks or like help. I feel like Somebody posted one that had two of the outlets on it, along with two USBs. And I have an external like pack for the um, USB chargers, so that's not a big deal. I need to see, the Home Depot I went to only had the one with the single. So if I were to need to bring my hotspot somewhere, I would have to have that charge me. 
I'm gonna see how long this one lasts with this plugged into it. And I do have, cause you just use the Ryobi battery packs. So this is what you use to charge it. And I have two of these. So when one's gone, I can have another one. But I feel like as far as people joining my mailing list and signing up for the loyalty and stuff like that, to just be able to turn the iPad around and have them type everything in is so much easier than me sitting on my phone, typing it in, getting it wrong, going back. So that's been another really big thing is I've been trying to be very diligent about um, getting emails and signing people up. Having the loyalty part added onto my square has been a big benefit for people. They're like, oh yeah, absolutely. Um, but, you know, it doesn't cost them anything and I promise them that I'm not going to send out massive amounts of emails like they're not going to get bombarded with me. I try to send out one like at the beginning of the month with just like what the schedule is. With, like again, what are some dates? You know, just the rest of the dates for the month. Maybe like a link to like one of the YouTube videos and then I don't know, just anything. Like this month we'll have Father's Day. Like, hey guys, don't forget Father's Day. Other than that, I try not to really bombard anybody too much. Oh, and a coupon. I always give everybody a coupon. And the coupons they can use anywhere. They just have to mention it. Like, hey, I got the email, you got the coupon, I just go to my discounts, boom, there you go. And I let them use those online, at markets, in store, craft shows, wherever they go. It's, it's been great. I love it. I, I It's been a really good feature as far as like using this, uh, using Square and kind of integrating everything into that. Like sending out that newsletter is super easy. Hey, good morning. Um, earlier I was chasing a spider around. My friend suggested Coco the spider. But I'm willing to take main suggestions suggestions because well, we haven't killed it yet I don't know. I read um like I'm not super like super woo woo but I read a little article spiders the good luck or not but apparently if one follows you around or if like you have a spider in your vicinity it's a good aura or a good I don't know good luck I don't know we haven't killed this one and it's just been popping around but it decided that it wanted to crawl straight across the ceiling instead of in the corner that like it normally does. Inventory with me this morning, like right next to me. So that was a little unsettling. Mm -hmm. Had a really good workout. Did back and biceps. Took a shower. All fresh and ready to go. I think we're going to head over to the Costco. I also need to go to car wash. The pollen, I feel like everywhere I go and I park under trees, like the pollen and everything that drops from them is... There's a layer. I want to, just over the course of a couple months, this whole area has turned into a hot mess. I used to use a lot of these crates. I don't anymore. They've been sitting there for about six months being unused. I used to use them for the big shows. I don't think I'm doing big shows anymore. Way too much work for not enough return. I'm gonna come back, get rid of somebody did reach out and find so get these like racks those aluminum racks off the top so i'm gonna see if i can get them to come out today can we take a moment to appreciate just how empty all these aisles are on uh i mean granted it's monday at not even 10 a.m but it's amazing like, look at how many people are not in line. Hey, welcome to the day. We are heading over to Westdale Floral, a floral shop over in uh, Manitonka area. Just kind of doing a refresh and trading a couple soaps out for some new ones. Stocking, I think there was like one soap satchel when I was there last time. So those went. And then I'm going to go to work for a little while and then come back here and get some things done. I think I need to take photos of some stuff. Look at my planner because I have an entire list of brain dump stuff. And yeah, we're gonna get going. Go stock some flower shops. Bye.